हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स फंक्शन ओके सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफरेंशियबिलिटी ओके सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विथ कंटिन्यूटी सो वॉट इज कंटिन्यूटी वैन कंटिन्यूटी इज एग्जिस्ट सो फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज सेट टू बी अ कंटिन्यूस एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जेड जीरो पॉइंट इफ लिमिट जेड टेंस टू जेंड जीरो एफ ऑफ जेड एग्जिस्ट ओके सो लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल दैट डिटरमाइन वेदर द फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज कंटिन्यूस एट ओरिजिन और नॉट सो हियर वी हैव फंक्शन एफ ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वाई रिज टू स्क्वेयर अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर वेर जेड इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो and zero when z is equal to zero okay so he, so here we have definition that is a function f of z is said to be a continuous at z is equal to z zero if limit z tends to z zero f of z exist okay and we have already studied about when limit z tends to z zero f of z exist in our previous lecture and how we can find it okay so here take limit z tends to z zero f of z so here you can clearly see that here we have to find out limit at origin so here z zero is zero so this is limit z tends to z zero and our function f of z that is x plus y raised to whole square upon x square plus y square so here we have to check that this limit exist or not okay so by using the path method let us recall by using the path method of limit so here so here we can find out limit by using path number 1 when x tends to 0 then take x tends to 0 then y tends to 0 second take y tends to 0 then x tends to 0 third case is take y tends to mx and then x tends to 0 and fourth case is take y tends to mx square and then x tends to 0 if we get same answer from all this process so at that time we can say that limit x but if any answer from all these which depends on value of m or value of theta so at that time we can say that limit does not exist okay so let's start with path number 1 that is take first of all x tends to 0 and then y tends to 0 okay so here i am putting directly x tends to 0 so here i am writing then we will take y tends to 0 so put x is equal to 0 so this will become y square and here put x is equal to 0 so this will become only y square and now y square y square both are cancel out so here we have limit y tends to 0 into 1 okay now here there is no any term of y so we cannot put y tends to 0 so our first answer is 1 okay according to path number 1 okay now next is our second answer that is here we have limit z tends to 0 and here we have x plus y is to whole square upon x square plus y square okay so now according to path number 2 take first of all y tends to 0 and then x tends to 0 okay so here put first of all y tends to 0 and then we will take x tends to 0 so i am putting directly y tends to 0 so here i am writing x tends to 0 so put here y tends to 0 so this will become x square here also put y tends to 0 so this will become x square okay so now this is limit x tends to 0 into 1 okay now you can clearly see that there is no any term present here that in the form of x okay so here we have answer that is final answer that is 1 okay so here according to path number 1 we get answer 1 okay according to path number 2 we get answer 1 so two, so two answer we get c let's check with third path so in third path first of all take y tends to mx and then x tends to 0 Okay, so here we have limit z tends to zero x plus y is to whole square upon x square plus y square. So here I am taking directly y is equal to m x. So here I am writing limit x tends to zero and put y is equal to m x here. So this will become x plus m x raised square upon x square plus m square x square. 
okay so now this will become limit x tends to 0 okay by taking x square common from numerator so this will become x square plus 1 plus m raised to whole square upon this is x square this will become 1 plus m square this x square x square cancel out so we will get our answer that is limit x tends to 0 1 plus m into whole square upon 1 plus m square okay you can clearly see that there is no any term present which is in the form of x so our final answer which is 1 plus m raised to whole square upon 1 plus m square so here you can clearly see that our first our first path answer is 1 second path answer is 1 but third path answer is not 1 this answer depends on the value of m so here there is no need to check path number 4 because from path number 3 we can clearly see that we will not get same answer because path number 3 which depends on the value of m. So here from here we can say that limit does not exist. Okay, so according to definition of continuity, that is a function f, f of z is said to be a continuous at z tends to z0 if limit z tends to z0 f of z exists. But here our limit does not exist. So we can say that this function f of z is not continuous at point z is equal to z0 and that is 0 okay okay now let's take next topic that is differentiability so a single valued function f of z is said to be a differentiable at point z0 if f dash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 f of z 0 plus delta z minus f of z 0 upon delta z exist or we can use derivative of f of z at point z 0 can also be written as f dash of z 0 is equal to limit z tends to z 0 f of z minus f of z 0 upon z minus z 0 so by using this both equation we can easily check that our function is differentiable or not okay and we can easily find out the derivative of any function f of z by using this equation okay and if this exists then at that time we can say that the function is differentiable function also okay this is the basic funda to check out the differentiability of any function or the function is differentiable or not and to find out the derivative of any functions at that time we can use this formula okay so okay now let's understand with example that is find the derivative of function f of z is equal to 1 plus z upon 1 minus z by using the definition at z is equal to 2 okay so here we have definition for differentiability or derivative that is, is f dash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f of z upon delta z okay so here we have z is equal to 2 f of z is equal to 1 plus z 1 minus z okay so here next term will become limit delta z tends to 0 here z is equal to 2 so this will become f of 2 plus delta z minus f of 2 upon delta z okay now what is the meaning of here we have limit delta z tends to 0 now what is the meaning of 2 plus delta z so put 2 plus delta z in place of this z so our function will become 1 plus 2 plus delta z upon 1 minus 2 plus delta z minus f of 2 that is minus 1 plus 2 1 minus 2 upon delta z okay so our next term will become limit z tends to 0 this will become 3 plus delta z upon minus 1 minus delta z and this will become 3 upon minus 1 and upon delta z 
okay so now we will get our next term like this limit delta z tends to 0 this is 3 plus delta z upon minus 1 minus delta z and this is minus minus plus so this will become plus 3 upon delta z okay so next is limit delta z tends to 0 so by taking cross multiplication so this will become 3 plus delta z minus 3 minus 3 delta z upon delta z okay so this plus 3 minus 3 cancel out so we will get only minus 2 delta z so our answer is f dash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 this is minus 2 delta z upon delta z and delta z delta z both are cancel out so our answer is minus 2 okay so this is our final answer for derivative of function f of z is equal to 1 plus z upon 1 minus z at point z is equal to 2 so this is our final derivative answer for this function so in this lecture we have studied about what is continuity of any function and what is differentiability of any function and how we will find it by using the definition of continuity and definition of differentiability okay thank you for watching this video